case no one worked that one out. He's not going to Cheltenham, he's going, funnily enough, he's going to Kelso next weekend. Not this weekend, the weekend after, probably. And then he'll go to the Aintree Bowl. And then it's, uh, on the other side, uh, Willie Riding is the new one. Um, so he's going to the Stayers Hurdle. Um, and the next one is Angel Antics. Who's got two? She's a mare. You know, the, the two mares races she's in. Don't know which one she's going for. Then Arthur's Gift attempts possible. Um, and Bally Bolly number three. Um, he's in the two and a half mile handicap. Bally Hill, who won. Um, anyway, he's in the novice. And what, hang on, see, so I have to go a bit slower. Because, um, and then number five, there is um, Bally, Op Bally Optic, who's the RSA. Ben Ben's, uh, he'll just be going in the, the, the long distance. What's it? Again, you oh, see that right. way. Right. Eight, Hallett Mad. Nine's Cogri, the staying handicap. And Count Miribel, who um, in the um, three mile novice hurdle. And Double Ross, he'll be in the um, you know, long distance big chase. Foxtail Hill, two and a half or uh, two mile handicap. Um, yes, goodbye Bobby, who could be in the bumper, <coughs> number 13. Uh, 14, Jameson in the, in the uh, two and a half mile the handicap novice chase. Um, then we have one um, called King's Place, who could possibly be in the bumper, I'm not sure. Um, Robbins Hill, the um, Grand Annual. Tintin Theatre, um, one of the favourites for, for Saturday, and he, he'll come, come back. Um, uh, 18, Turning Gold, he's uh, Fred Winter. Uh, Volcano is the, the grey. Uh, doesn't like any of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good judge, exactly. He's in the, in the, the bumper. Rupert, he's looking at you. Paul Stone is the one at the back without any number. Benz, Big Bad John, yes. Callet Mad, and Cogri, Count Miribel. Um, Double Ross. And we've got Foxtail Hill. Goodbye, Bobby. Um, Jameson. King's Place. Robins Hill. Tinton Theatre. Turning Gold, Volcano, and last but not least, hopefully, is Holstone. There you are, they're going to come down again now, wander gently down, and then do the same again. Just two canters today. Uh, I had a big work day tomorrow, but uh, all looking good at the moment. And you've got both the new one and Holstone in the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Which is going to be which? And are they going to be finished first and second? I expect so. Dead heat. <laughs> no. I, I, <coughs> I don't know. Because yeah, it's a whole new uh, go for, for the new one. You know, and Holstone's done it well all season anyway, hasn't he? So Seems to like Cheltenham as well. He likes Cheltenham. Yeah. Just... Got slightly outstayed in that very heavy ground last time, but uh, you know it won't be as it won't be like that this time, will it? So, no. um, yeah, I'm sure you'll get home this time. And, uh, okay, the new one then. Um, will be it'll be all right. And you confident about three miles? I'm not confident at all. You know that's why we hung on this long. But uh, uh, with it, you know, riding him differently and things yet. Hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll ride him differently, will you? Yes. Yeah, we won't be making all and things like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. That's been the thing holding you up going up to two miles and just the trip for him. Yeah, the, you know the two and a half. He, he's won over two and a half quite a few times, but uh, and eight and three. But has he been actually staying on at the end? I don't. I never really. No. Anyway, let's have a look. So we only won at Warwick that novice hurdle. 
one two five, wasn't it? Way back, way back. Yeah, but he was done. beating nothing then. He was beating 115 horse or something mm. then. You know, so so he should win. But, no, yeah. no, no regrets that you've sort of waited a, a couple of years. You know, you've not tried this earlier then, or well, when, he, when he might have been in perhaps at his absolute. Well, I think. Well, you lot know more than I do. But you look at his races. Is he probably at his best he's ever been now? I think. Yeah. He's only nine. Uh, um, is he, is he, I think his races have been in, incredible this year. Mm. You know, he's definitely as high a rating as he's ever had, according to the handicappers and things. So, no, he seems to be good. Um, you know, and we had to have a go at those champion hurdles. And, and you know, he's run well in all of them. Yeah. Given Gold Cups and Grand Nationals, what would it mean for this horse to win a championship race? Cheltenham, he's, he's very close to your heart. But well, he's won a championship because he won the. Um, but uh, of the, you know, what, yeah. of the sort of senior yeah. races. Yeah, well, that would be really great because, you know, he's just one of the horse of a lifetime, isn't he? And, uh, you know, it's, it's just been nice. But uh, it was so sad his first champion hurdle was there for taking and he was knocked out of it. You, know. you could do without sort of unusually soft ground, couldn't you, if you're going through mud for the first time? Oh, yeah, yeah it'll be unusual. I don't think it'll be soft ground, will it? You know, it'll be fine. It usually wouldn't. It'll be fine. But it's not going to be a haydock ground anyway, is it? So, is, yeah. is there any it's chance fine. of a, a rethink? You know, you get to the weekend before and it's soft. No, because we've taken him out. You take him out, though? Yeah, we so will. I didn't realize that. Yeah, you put him back in on the Monday for 20 grand. Well, because, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you'll lend me the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, at the moment. Uh, well, unless Boo there does something funny and. Yeah. doesn't look attractive. No, I think we've made our mind up. That's what we're going to try something different. Is this his seventh festival, the new one? <laughs> That's quite a few, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four champions. Yeah. Yeah. So his 15th outing at Cheltenham as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, there we are. <laughs> that's, that's How many six. horses run in seven festivals? You'd be hoping he'd be running next year as well. So. Yeah. Uh, he's been very, very kind to us. Is, is he very much the number one ahead of Holston? How do you split them up? If, if you were riding and you could have the pick? I don't know. Totally. The, the one's proven at the distance. He tested the impossible. One's proven at the distance and, and proven well, and, and the other isn't. So I don't know. Oh, luckily, I didn't have to pick. <laughs> you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Do you know about Jim's Ram's Raider? I hope very much hope so. I, I don't know what uh, they've got in the race. Yeah, exactly. Brian, if you're that, I don't know about anyone. So, yeah, it might possibly be. What did you make of his run last time? I don't know whether he... Very good run. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very good. You know, did everything right. Um, don't know. He's going to Kelso on uh, next Saturday. Um, yeah, I just thought unlikely unless he robs home. Robs in unlikely in the article. He'd only go for that if he. Well, I'm sure he'll be John, that, and Kim Buell, um, Dol Ross, Cobby, and Ben Benz, they're probably fast, you know, fast than the you other. Know, they aren't up and coming there very well. Just on Big Bad John, I obviously made a good stable debut at Kempton, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Um, and I know Jim's mentioned, perhaps looking at a smaller race first, you sort of quite keen to press on and go to Chatham with him. Well, I think so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Have to have a look at it. Yeah. How do you turn his ball round? Um, we didn't really, I don't think, you, you know, there was a, a smaller, smaller race. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I'm not going to blow me jump and trump it sort of thing. It was mm. just, he, it was a, he'd come down in the handicap. It was a smaller race. And, uh, so Reynolds down, Chase mm. wasn't he? He was, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. He's a quality horse. He's a quality horse, yeah. 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 He, he's a definite runner, is he? Uh, not definite, but, you know, as definite as we can be, yeah. The mayor's novice hurdle, which you prefer the two and a half. Which, you know, let's say there's only very few runners in it, then that, that might change your mind. Yeah, but could that happen if Raffi Jane scares them all off? Well, exactly. Yeah. It's a possibility. Yeah. 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 Yeah
possibility, isn't it? If you're not entered, you can't look. Well, Bally Mallin then, National Hunt Chase, four miles. Owners would like to have a run there at the festival, so we'll look at it. But, you know, he's obviously, he's only rated 130. He's going to be well outclassed. Do you have a rider for him, sort of? Oh, we've got Zach Baker and um, Jordan... Um, Naylor. Naylor. I remember his name. He was running okay in the, up at Muscle Run until he fell, wasn't he? Sort of, do you not think? Or? Uh, sorry, which one were you Bally Mallin. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he definitely was. You know, on better ground. You know, he's, mm. a, he's a presenting better ground. He's a, yeah. Yeah, he's a nice little horse. Mm. Yeah, 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 what about yeah. Jameson and Valley Hill then in that handicap? Uh, well, well Jameson's done nothing wrong all season. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, very pleased with him. He went back to two miles. It was a bit quick for him last time. Um, and Bally Hill, he, he's a winner around the, uh, over two and a half miles around there. Um, again, you know, these are sort of things that yeah, they could just pop up. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Count Mary will have to take Sam Crow on. Do you think he's, he's headed there? Uh, yeah, well, Jim Old is, 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 is his racing manager. <laughs> um, but I think, Jim, you there? He went back, I think. He's got that. Uh, yeah, I think he probably is headed there. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, 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 it was two three at Ascot, too slow. A bit of a sprint at the end that uh, caught him out a bit. And then turning gold up, he won well on. Turning gold won well. I do think he probably needs the heavy ground, which he won't get, will he? But uh, you know, they can be quite open those uh, Fred Winters, can't they? You know, he, he, uh, um, not a certain runner at all, but you know, you see, if there's water about, rain about, then he easily could. I think obviously Caleb Mudd's got two entries there, is he? Caleb's got two entries, but I'd have thought the stayers hurdle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What happened at um, the time before last year? I was obviously bounced back last time, it was because you turned around pretty quickly, didn't you? <laughs> it was quite extraordinary, wasn't it? Uh, um, he. he, he it was disappointing in, 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 in that it was heavy ground that uh, once he tried to make all and then just got worn out of it, and, you know, and well beaten. And uh, I didn't want to run him, but uh, Nancy Bromley said, Look, let's get him qualified for the what's it? He's only got to finish the first six. He said, Well, okay. And then the ground rained there. And uh, we said, Well, we'll just ride him totally differently, you know, just to run on to get a place. Anyway, it really suited him, <laughs> and he romped. So, you know, he'll be ridden differently again, you know, held up this time. Yeah. All favourite splash of ginge. Oh, yeah. yeah, unlike to run, he's, you know, I think he's had his, his gold cup for this year. Um, we're going to refresh him up for next year. Unlike to run, but, you know, he's in there. Do you think any of them will <coughs> Nigel merit a mention in a, in a racing post stables or keep bonus happy? <laughs> <laughs> Which one now? The, the, this one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just any of the horses we haven't discussed really. Any of these yeah. in the handicaps? This Kim Muir or the play? The Kim Muir. We've got a big badge on. Carter Dog won't get in. Tinson's here to. <coughs> it's interesting how he gets on this weekend. Yeah. Um, you know, Double Ross and or Ben Benz and things. Um, We've discussed those. Uh, yeah. Robin Sills, anyone else? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and Robin Sill again in, in, in that, you know, he's got a good chance. You know, he's you know, been winning around Ludlow, but, uh, you know, we put him up, uh, dropped him back to two last time, uh, uh, you know, um, tried two and a half and he didn't get home. So, you know, and, uh, but Foxtail Hill would probably be in the, the two and a half mile. You know, then, unless the ground's very heavy. And is, is there one out of you? We've said the new one's perhaps your, your, your main hope, Chief. Is there any? Well, Bally Optic. Again, yeah, he'd be, yeah. Yeah, and yeah he'd be one of the ones. And, you know, in the handicaps, you know, Jameson, Bally Hill, done nothing wrong. Yeah. Would you be keen on having a go at the Gold Cup with Black Lion in future years? Or, you know, she could Yeah, to? yeah, we, we just. <laughs> thinking about it, you know, the, the national for this year. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know, in a, in, a, in a way, 
I'd like to have had a go the Gold Cup, but then it seemed an outstanding chance for national, so that's what we've done. Has he come out of the race okay from paid up? Yeah. Yeah, no, he's actually 100 percent I should have had him out today to show you all, but I don't know. We've got the shot on this on this way. Would you have preferred to take the Gold Cup in instead of giving him that slog round hate up at the weekend? As it's turned out, no, no, because we, we, you know, we've got seven weeks. Yeah. So, no, no, we, we've done right. You know, we've decided that's what we're going to do. So. Okay. Because we obviously all saw many clouds a few years ago, didn't we? Mm. You know, yeah. So. yeah. It's a strong team, but you know, it's, 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 it's difficult to think. We're going to win a handi any handicap. It's difficult to say you're going to win it, isn't it? Uh, and you know, apart from the new one and the whole stone and Valley Optic, you know, there aren't any. We haven't got any standout novices, things like that. You know, we haven't got a, a new one going into the novice hurdle, like, you know, years ago. Is there any Robins Hill, Tinton Theatre. 